Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we can take multiple PDF files, combine those together to form a new multi-page PDF. I'll talk about a few different methods, including a couple that are free, and then obviously using Acrobat Pro. I'll also talk about the pros and cons of each of those methods. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I have 50 different files here in this folder, 50 different PDFs. If I open one up, you can see here, those of you who follow the channel will recognize this from a video I did not too long ago. But basically, it is a two-page PDF, front and back, and it's just a simple 8.5 by 11 flyer. So the goal is to combine all 50 of these PDFs together into uh, to form one new 100-page PDF. Now, if you're on Mac OS, I'm currently on uh, Sequoia, which is like 15.4 right now. Um, the easiest way to do this is to just go ahead and hit Command A, select everything, and I'm gonna go ahead and right click. I'll come down to Quick Actions, and I'll click Create PDF. Now, this use, uh, basically is using the Preview app. So, uh, depending on which version of um, Mac OS you're on, you may not have this functionality. But those of you who do, that's the quickest way to do it. Obviously, once it finishes here, it's going to prompt you to go ahead and save it. So I'll just call, call this combined. Once I open this up, you can see here I now have a 100-page PDF file that has combined all 50 of those PDFs together. So simplest way to do it. Obviously, you have to be on Mac OS. Um, those uh, Windows users, don't worry. The next method I'm going to show will also be free for you. The disadvantage of doing this, obviously, though, is the fact that you cannot do any kind of further edits when you're combining them, such as like deleting pages out or moving the sequence. Let's say I wanted this Rhode Island PDF to appear at the top. Um, obviously, I don't have that functionality with it. It's just going to go ahead and sequence your PDF based on how you have it set up here in this folder. So quick, easy, free, but it's a limited functionality to it. The second method is to use one of those free online PDF uh, editors. I like using small PDF, so I'll just go to my web browser, type in smallpdf.com. From here, I'm gonna go click on merge at the very top. I can either choose the files that I want, or I can, again, just come in here and I can select all of the files that I want, and I can just drag them on over. And you'll see here, it will start giving me a preview of all the PDFs that need to be combined together. I do have a little bit more functionality here. I can go ahead and I can resequence the pages. So like I said, uh, let's say I wanna put Washington at the front, I can just click and drag, and now this is the first page, or the first PDF. Uh, let's say I don't wanna include Hawaii here, I can just go ahead and click on the um, garbage can to delete that page. And I can continue adding multiple PDFs to this as well. I can just click here, the plus button, and I can select another PDF or multiple PDFs from my hard drive and load it in to the um, editor here. There is some limited functionality in the fact that if you have a multi-page PDF, like all of these are, two pages, I cannot see the backside. I can only see just the PDF together. If you are paying for the pro version of this, you can. Um, there may be other online editors that will allow you to do that, but using small PDF, you do not have that functionality unless you're a, um, a paid member. Um, but basically, I can move things around. So let's say I'm done. I just click finish. It's going to go ahead and it's going to create this document. And you can see here when it's done, it'll tell you the, the approximate size, how many pages there are. It's 98 because I deleted the one PDF for uh, from the uh, source and then it'll just give you a preview here on the left Once you click download, it'll just download it to your desktop or wherever you have your download folder and then you're ready to go ahead and use So that's a free method again It gives you a little bit more functionality with either deleting pages or resequencing pages But it is limited in the fact that if you have multi-page PDF files, it won't allow you access to have uh, uh, make edits with uh, back and front or maybe if there's you know multi pages in there uh, you can't really do too much with it so those are two free methods those are um, uh, great if you don't have Acrobat Pro but if you do have Acrobat Pro I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to combine PDFs here 
So I'll go to my uh, Acrobat here. I'm going to go to File. I'll go to Create, and I'm going to go to Combine Files into a single PDF. I'll click Add Files here, and I'll navigate to my folder. I'll select the files that I want, and I'll click Add Files. So from here, I can immediately just click Combine, or I can go ahead and I can make some edits to this. With each one of these uh, selected, I can move them down. I can move them up. If I double click here, it'll give me a preview very similar to the online uh, editor where I can go ahead and I can resequence PDFs so I can move this around. I can also click this little expand area here so that now I have access to both front and back. So let's say I do this for the one next to it and I'm going to go ahead and move this page in front of this back side here. So now I have two fronts and then two backs. Again, I can also just delete that if I don't want it and I can resequence them however I choose. Uh, I can continue adding, add, or adding more files if I want just by clicking Add Files here. So I can choose another file somewhere, add it to the, to the end here, and again, I can move it around. Um, I can also click the magnifying glass to get a, a better preview of it, and I can kind of play around with the preview here by selecting the icon size. Um, once I'm ready, I also have a couple different options for output. If I click on the options button here, I have three different choices. Let's say I want to go ahead and I want to email this, but I don't want the file size to be that large. I can go ahead and click on this version here, and you'll see this is a smaller file size suitable for on-screen display, email, internet, optimizes the PDF file size. So that way I have a smaller file. Uh, or if I want to maintain my uh, print quality, I just go ahead and select the larger file size and that way it'll maintain everything that's inside of your original PDFs. I can also choose uh, some of these other options here. I'm not really going to mess around with any of this. Um, and I can choose to delete the source file after I co uh, combine it if I ch so choose. So I'll just click OK. I'll click Combine. You can see down here it's already starting and it, it did it that fast but I'm left with my 100 page PDF that everything has been resequenced how I, uh, how I want it. So that's using the combined PDF version in Acrobat. Once I uh, have this done, I'll just go ahead and hit save as and I'll just save it somewhere to my uh, desktop. I'll uh, delete it now for moving to the next example. And then the last way is to open an original PDF here. So this is my uh, Alaska version here, my two pager. And from here, I can go ahead and go to my tools. I can go to organize pages. And from here, I can go ahead and click insert from file, or I can use the hotkeys here, shift command I. And I can go ahead and I can insert all of the different PDFs that I want to. So I'll highlight all of those. Obviously I'm not highlighting Alaska because that's the one that's currently open. I'll click select. I'll choose where I want to insert it at. I want after the last page and I'll click OK. And from here it'll start building out my PDF. Obviously this may take a minute if you have a lot of pages to go through, but now that it's finished I have a 100 page PDF file. I don't want to save right now because it'll overwrite the existing file. I do just go ahead and save as, and I can just save it to somewhere on my hard drive, and I'll just call this, again, combined Acrobat. And from here, I have the functionality, again, to go ahead and move pages around however I want to, resequence them. I can delete pages if I don't want them. And when I'm done, I just go ahead and hit close, and then I hit save as and save my file. So there's a few different methods. Um, personally, I like using the um, setup in Acrobat Pro because it gives you more functionality. I already have Acrobat Pro. Most of you who are graphic designers and uh, pre-press workers probably already have Acrobat Pro as well. Um, obviously, most of you who follow me on this channel probably have Acrobat Pro. But there are some options to do the free method to use the online editor or to go ahead and right-click and combine files using the built-in uh, combine or uh, create PDF in Mac OS. So I hope that helps help somebody out. Please leave me a question, any questions that you have down in the comment section below. I'm happy to help. If you have suggestions for further videos, please leave those down there as well. A like, a share, and subscribe always goes a long way to helping the channel out. 
If you want to support me a little bit more, I'll leave a link down to my Patreon page in the description below. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate the views as always. And until the next video, have a good one.